My name is Neil Ellis and I work at the Lloyd's Register Educational Trust Research Unit which is based in the Seafarers International Research Centre in Cardiff. The Seafarers International Research Centre was established in 1995 and it's part of Cardiff University School of Social Sciences. The aim of the centre is actually to do research into the maritime industry and in particular focuses on occupational health and safety. Lloyd's Register Education Trust Research Unit was set up later in 2003 and the aim of this centre is to actually conduct research into human elements within the shipping industry. I obtained my master's degree at the University of Wales Institute of Cardiff and following this I was employed at the Centre for Occupational and Health Psychology in Cardiff. I was actually employed on a number of research projects here but the final project that I was employed on looked at fatigue in the offshore and coastal shipping industry and as part of this I went on board a number of vessels and did onboard research with, with, with the crews on board. Through this I that, then actually got a job at the Seafarers International Research Centre where I initially started working on the Global Labour Market Survey project. In 2003, the Lloyd's Register Educational Trust Research Unit was set up and I became a researcher within this unit. I've worked in a number of areas within the maritime industry. For example, I've, I've worked on a project which looked at stress and where we've actually produced packages to try and help seafarers reduce their levels of stress. I've also worked in other areas, for example, earlier on I discussed a bit about the fatigue project which I was involved in and this looked generally at how different shift patterns and working hours can actually have an effect on fatigue. Uh, my current research area is into perceptions of risk in, in the maritime industry and what different groups see as a risk that, uh, that, that may affect them. I'm also just beginning um, research which is actually part of my PhD research into accommodation design and the effects that this may actually have on health and well-being. The area of research that I'm currently involved in is the safety and the perceptions of risk project. This is the longest running project within the Lloyd's Register Educational Trust Research Unit and what this looks at is how different groups within the maritime industry understand risk. Research into other industries such as the rail and nuclear industry has shown that different hierarchical levels of an organisation may actually have different perceptions as to what is important for safety. An actual lack of awareness of these differences can lead to misled safety initiatives as well as just generally a mistrust and a misunderstanding within the organisations. In order to examine these perceptions of safety as understood by the different maritime groups, we actually conducted a wide-ranging questionnaire survey of both seafarers and shipping managers, and these were conducted with organisations such as maritime colleges, shipping companies and management companies. Through analysis of the return questionnaires, what we found was that although risk was generally seen as low, there were significant differences between the different hierarchical groups. Managers generally saw the risk of incidents, for example fire and collision, as higher than those on board ship. Nationality differences were also apparent, for example, Chinese seafarers saw the risk of incidents occurring as much higher than, say for example, Filipino seafarers. Differences in, in the type of incidents were also apparent, for example, explosion was seen as the most likely event to happen on a tanker, whereas collision was seen as the most likely event that would happen to a high-speed craft. Not only did the research look at what was perceived as the most likely event to happen to a vessel, but we also looked at what was seen as the most likely event to happen to somebody working on board. For example, from a range of work situations, we found that working in a hot environment was actually seen as the most likely potential cause of injury. The effect of experience was also apparent, with greater concern about the risks of handling, lifting or carrying being associated with those who had served longer at sea. Although from the questionnaire survey we knew a lot about what seafarers and managers saw as the risks, we had no idea how accurate these, these perceptions actually were. Therefore a further development of the research was to actually collect actual vessel level accidents and incidents data and this was collected from maritime administrations. What we found was that manager perceptions were actually generally more accurate than those on board ship. Again, nationality differences are apparent. Chinese seafarers were found to be most accurate, whereas UK and Filipino seafarers were found to be the least accurate. Strangely, however, experience of a vessel type didn't seem to have any effect on how accurate perceptions about the most likely event to occur and it were. A future topic of research for the Lloyd's Register Educational Trust Research Unit will look at the design of vessel accommodation and the effects that this may have on health and well-being of those that live there. 
And in fact, this area is actually of particular interest to me as it is the focus of my ongoing PhD research. Onshore, researchers identified that a number of factors within the built environment may actually affect health and well-being. These include high noise levels, inadequate lighting, poor quality housing, the aesthetics of the environment and also crowding. Not only may these factors have a direct effect on the individual, but they may also actually affect their social circumstances. For example, they may influence interactions, participation within events, and they also may have effect on levels of support that are offered. However, if we look at vessels, many of these environmental features can actually be seen to be part of the vessel environment. Therefore, the research aims to look at how vessels are designed and the impact that these features of the built environment may have on health and well-being of those on board. It would also try and identify possible ways to improve the environment.